Welcome to this short video on communion patterns. This is a communion pattern, and our servers use this for an unbelievably important reason. Jesus is not a liar. That's right. We believe what Jesus said. And Jesus says, this is my body. This is my blood. Jesus says, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. We believe that Jesus is being real and honest. Which means that at every single Mass, bread becomes substantially the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. If that's, if that's true, then every fragment and particle is Jesus. We use communion patterns to protect Jesus, to keep Jesus from falling to the ground. Now, it could be the fact that an actual host would land on the pattern, but also the tiniest little crumb or fragment is Jesus as well. So, the reason that we use a communion pattern is to follow the priest's hand as his hand takes from the ciborium a host and brings it to the communicant who's going to receive Jesus himself. So it's important when we hold the communion pattern that we always, always, always hold the pattern horizontal. If we hold it slanted or tilted or vertical, the whole point is null and void. We hold the communion pattern horizontal so that any particles or fragments, as small as they might be, are captured on the pattern. The priest would then later purify the pattern and reverently receive those particles. When you hold the pattern, your other hand would be on your chest, as we do. You can hold the pattern however you like. You can hold it like this. You can hold it like this. We even have some servers that hold it like this. How you hold it is important. What matters is that it remains horizontal. When you hold the communion pattern, it's also essential that you follow the priest's hands or the deacons as they bring the host to the individual. Which means holding it underneath their chin sometimes. Holding it low or high, depending on the height of the communicant. I'm going to have my two servers show a few things. When you are assisting, you always want to be on the outside of the person that you're distributing communion. If I am the only person distributing communion, then the both patents would be to my left and my right. Let's say that I'm splitting the center aisle with another priest or another deacon, and let's say that that priest is here. I would just have one communion patent on the outside of where I'm at if there is another priest or a deacon here. Now, if both are with me, it is really, really attentive as they take turns going to either line as they receive Holy Communion for them to be attentive, to make sure that they place their arm out. I always like to say that just as my arm every time needs to move, their arm needs to move every time as well, going forward and back with the priest to make sure that any fragments or the host itself is caught. Here at our parish, we also like to do some incentives. So if it is the case that a host was to drop and the server catches the host, we actually award them with $20. If the host drops to the ground, well, we drop to the ground as well, and after Mass, we do 20 push-ups in reparation for our Lord falling to the ground. We also do the same for when the communion patent clinks against either another communion patent or the ciborium that the priest is holding. For that, we just do 10 push-ups. But it's attentive to just be sensitive to what's taking place. When the servers are done, they always both go off to the left and they keep the patents horizontal. One of them will grab water the other one will take the other patent 
So a server will have two patents in their hand, the other one will have water in their hand, and they present them at the altar in this fashion. In doing so, they're then ready for the communion patents to be purified by the priest, and the water is ready for the purifications that need to take place. So when you're done with the communion patents, you always go off to the right side of the altar. Both communion patents are in one person's hand. Water is in the other. And the two of you present them to the priest. When you're done presenting to the priest, you would bow to the priest and make your way back down to the credence table. These are the simple ways that we assist with communion patents here to show our honor and our reverence to Jesus truly present in the most blessed sacrament. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for always honoring our Lord Jesus Christ truly present in the blessed sacrament.